What's good, YouTube? Welcome to Trendy Topics, where we discuss the latest in hip-hop and gossip. So, Tekashi 6 9 is being attacked once again. And, of course, I'm sure you guys aren't surprised because it seems like every day there's someone else attacking Tekashi 6 9 Now, this time it's a New York rapper, so it's kind of like New York versus New York. And this rapper goes by the name of Jay John, right? Basically, he's saying that Tekashi stole his song Punani. Y'all know Tekashi have that um, dancehall kind of song called Punani, right? Now, Jay John is saying that Tekashi stole his song um, I guess without giving him any credit now to be honest if you didn't know where the song originally came from then you will actually believe Jay John but I'm going to kind of expose this guy Jay John in a few um, yeah but let's listen what Jay John had to say about Tekashi 6 9 and then we'll move on from there so check this out guys look what's happening to New York City right now look, look at this look at this look Fat Punani by Jay John. Oh, that nigga Jay John. That's the that's the New York legend. Oh, six nine got Punani too. Of a love. Let's hear this one. Fuck Punani, I want fuck Punani. 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 Hold up, let me hear. Let me hear six nine. Hold up. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Shake it back. Let me tell you something, man. Let me let me tell y'all something, man. Alright guys, so just like I said before, if you did not know where the song originally came from, then you will be agreeing with Jay John saying that Tekashi stole his song. But to be honest, this song called Punani, it's a Jamaican song and it was sung by a dancehall artist called Left Side. How do I know? Because I'm Jamaican, right? Tekashi even reached out to Left Side to make sure that, you know, he had all the necessary contracts and stuff signed. That way Tekashi didn't get sued. The guy Left Side who owned the song he also did a um an Instagram live talking about Tekashi and stuff because a lot of persons were hating on him because he made Tekashi use this song. But he says he's all about that bread. He doesn't care if Tekashi is a rat or anything like that. Which to be honest, Tekashi is paying him good money for the song, so I definitely wouldn't blame him. So this guy Jay John, he can't accuse Tekashi of stealing his song when he actually used someone else's song in the first place. And I'm pretty sure that you had to ask left side before you even use that song so there's many songs where rappers use then another rapper come and use it but the original owner of the song get credit or get money or whatever kind of deal they had so this guy Jay John is actually lying saying that Tekashi stole his song and you can actually go look on Google if y'all don't believe me the original song came out like over 10 years ago I think it's like 12 years ago just type in left side Punani, and then you'll actually hear the Jamaican version. And if you actually want, you can find the Instagram live of that person talking about Tekashi. You'll just have to type in left side speaks on Tekashi or something like that. But yeah, guys, um, but just leave your comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. What do you think about Jay John claiming that he's exposing Tekashi 69? And guys, I am not a Tekashi 69 stan. I'm just actually keeping it real because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of persons out there falling for what Jay John is saying. But yeah, guys, the next thing I want to talk about is rapper Little Baby clapping back at his baby mom. Now, basically, his baby mother put out a video saying that he's a deadbeat. He didn't buy her a car or he's supposed to buy her a car, but he didn't. You know, she's just talking down on him. Now, of course, you know, a lot of the females are going to come out and attack Little Baby. And that's exactly what they did till little baby actually come and address the entire situation. But what I'm going to do, guys, is play the video of little baby's baby mama speaking on the entire situation. And she even made some good points, which I'm going to give her that. Like the part where she talks about COVID saying that she needs a car. That way she doesn't have to interact with a lot of persons in public transportation. Because obviously they have a kid. Um, you don't want the kid to get COVID-19. But at the same time, you making a video, putting it out in the public, might actually make the situation worse. Regardless of a lot of persons agreeing with you. Y'all know that little Baby seems like a very positive rapper. You know, he's always spitting some motivational stuff on Instagram. So uh, maybe he won't keep the car from you because, you know what? Let me just get to what she's saying. Check this out, guys. Jason, me and Jason actually need a car. Like, are you going to give us the car? Like, what's taking you so long to give us this car? But he's 
being him. So, of course, you guys know we're living in the middle of a pandemic, and me and Jason are taking these costly rides back and forth to get to the grocery store or to the city, wherever we have to go, and we're in and out of the car with complete strangers, you know, pretty much putting ourselves in putting ourselves in a position to actually catch COVID-19 if one of our drivers could have possibly had it because they've been driving around people all day. Some of you may be looking at it like, well, you should get your car fixed and that's fine, like, which is what I ended up doing. But at the same time, I'm like, do anybody look at it and be like, damn, the baby, like, why are you, <laughs> why are you be being petty like this? And it's like, he tries to be petty towards me but he puts Jason in a bad situation. Like, even if you feel like I should fuck you, you don't deal with me no more. It's like, Jason is in and out of Ubers and you offered us a car for the second time, two years in a row. Um, I do not let, when he does petty shit like this, I don't let it get to me because I'm kind of used to it. Like, I don't know. <sighs> I really don't know what the issue could be between me and my child's father because the only thing I seriously did was leave him completely alone. Like, I never wanted to beef with him or not be like the coolest friends, but our situation is kind of weird, okay? Because he, <sighs> on top of how he may feel about how I kind of walked away from our situation. He also has a girlfriend that could possibly be in his ear that hates my fucking guts too. No matter how cool she try and be. But she kind of hates my guts too because she feels like I humiliated her. In the middle of our argument when the girl um, put up her personal information, I laughed at her. And you know, I mean, we were in the middle of a fight she posted stripper pictures of me so it's like she was trying to hurt me I was trying to hurt her and you know we both took low jabs but I mean I got over it you know like I don't know I feel like she's mad at me because she feels like I humiliated her and I feel like he's mad at me because I walked away you know like men really have egos like this bitch walked away from me like yeah but I point i let her have him i let him have her i don't understand why we can't all be friends <laughs> so to clear the air i was not blowing him up to buy me a car <laughs> or blowing him up like begging me and my son were in a position where our car really went bad and we needed that car that um he had been promising us for two years that he, by the way, never gave to us. Um, I don't know why he, oh yeah. Do you guys really want to hear what happened? Okay, so this is how you know Jada is, is mad and she, she fishes for, even though I let her have the rapper, she still fishes for ways to, she still wants to get back from when I laughed at her. And obviously her having the rapper, her having loyal, and her getting the backstage passes and being able to take pictures with a guy is still not enough. She feels like I have to pay that bitch golden back. And all right, guys. So after she made that video, y'all know little baby was being attacked on Twitter. Now he responded by saying, my kids beyond well taken care of. So he's making it clear that his kids are well straight. They're well taken care of and all that. Now someone else went at little baby saying, man just get her a Honda and call it a day. Now little baby responded and said, I bought her a Range Rover, but she ain't get it because she's irresponsible. She needs to get her priorities together. The car is sitting in my garage waiting on her. Now another person went at little baby saying, that's all cap. Your oldest son's school's tuition ain't paid, which means he ain't enrolled cause they took him off the list. Therefore, he's not in school. You ain't taking care of him to be honest. Little baby responded and said, that's cap. 
people do anything for attention. First of all, my son isn't in real school. Second of all, I've been paying tuition two years for my son to go to school half the time. And that's the point. She didn't rant about tuition. She rant about a car. So little baby is basically exposing his baby mama for not having her priorities straight. Coming on the internet ranting about a car when there's other stuff to be talked about like the kids and all that. But little baby, as I said, seem like a decent dude, seem like a stand-up dude, you know. And we all know that you have the baby mamas out there that if they don't get their way, then they're going to go on the internet, rant about you and try to make you look like a bum. I'm not saying that's the case with her, but there's a lot of baby mamas who stay that way. Um, Yeah, but little baby, just continue doing what you're doing for your child. No, regardless whether you and the mother is together or not, just do what you got to do. Yeah, people seem to like little baby a lot. Little baby charge a hundred K for a verse, so it shouldn't be anything to take care of his kids because he's getting a whole lot of features. So I'm pretty sure that little baby has, you know, quite a stack in the bank. But yeah, guys, leave your comments and let me know what y'all think about this. Who do you believe in this entire situation? Little baby or his baby mama? And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. If you don't, you can hit the thumbs down button. Also, subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed and make sure you turn that bell on to get notified whenever I post new content. Anyway, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.